So what did you think of Watts? Like, did you get along with him? Did you know him well? This, like, is, what you this is crazy. I got along with Bill. Hmm. I got along with Bill. He, I mean, I, I saw him yell at guys. I saw him do some really shit things. He was a bully, but he happened to like me. But I was there when Eddie brought him in to teach him how to book. So I was involved in that circle. So he didn't want me going back and ratting on him on some shit he would do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's defending this guy, the Lester, and Lester doesn't want to accept racial integration. So then uh, Mark Madden actually gets involved. Um, who was working, I guess he might have been behind the scenes or might have been some sort of uh, influence there for WCW at the time, and he brings it to the attention of Hank Aaron, obviously baseball legend, one of the greatest of all time, yeah. and he basically demands Watts be fired, and then that's the end of Watts, right? I mean, pretty much? That's pretty the story that I always heard. Man, it's crazy, though, that like it takes uh, Hank Aaron coming in saying something for like anybody even to pay attention. No one's probably paying attention to Watts, what Watts is doing and saying. <laughs> They were so far removed during that time. They weren't even, the only thing they were hoping that Bill wouldn't take his gun into the office anymore. You know? Yep. Think about that. Insane, yeah. Yeah. So Watts is gone. So then a very unlikely man will replace him, and that's Eric Bischoff who comes in. At first, he's just the executive producer. He's not the executive vice president of yet, so he's basically in charge of like the TV side of things. Jim Ross went for the job. Tony Schiavone went for the job. They both did not get it, I believe. And I know if Jim Ross has probably said this as well, that he didn't get the job, even though maybe he was the most qualified, because they tied him and Watts together. So it's basically like, oh, we got another Bill Watts on our hands. Yeah, I see that easily, too. I'm sure that when Jim was going to lunch a lot of times in the CNN Center, he'd be accompanied by Bill. You know what I mean? Yep. So they got to see them like they were inseparable. Definitely. So he ends up quitting. He ends up leaving. And basically, you know, Shivani and, and Jesse Ventura will do the, the announcing. He'll be there. Bischoff will still be the announcer, even though he's technically in charge, like the, the backstage announcer. But no more Jim Ross. Is that a huge blow, a huge loss for WCW at this point? Yeah, of course. Of course. And he did a remarkable job for Vince. 